Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create a color ID map for an object with Blender 2.8 that you can use in Substance Painter for adding materials to particular parts of the mesh. We start with a simple model in Blender that is already UV unwrapped and I want to add a color ID for this inner part and a different color ID for the outer part. There are many ways to do this, but I prefer using a vertex paint. So I switch to vertex paint mode and then I go ahead with face selection hover over the inner area here and I press the L key to select the faces. After that I go to the toolbar and select a color like red. And to fill the selected faces with this color I press Shift and K. Ok, now I choose a different color, for example blue, and then I press A two times to deselect all, then I press L to select the outer parts while I'm hovering these with the cursor, and then again Shift and K to fill it. And that's it, the model is vertex painted. The next step is to export the model as FBX, so go to File, Export, FBX, Export the mesh, and export the selected objects only, and then I export it as idmap.fbx. Great, then I open Substance Painter, and create a new project, and select here the FBX that we exported before. Ok, here it is. And the first thing I do after importing the model is to bake the mesh maps. Be sure to have the ID map activated and then press Bake Material Mesh Maps. Alright, when this is completed you can see the color ID map here with the blue and red parts. Now let me show you how to use this. Let's add a material to the model, like this black leather. I drag it onto the model, but I hold the control key pressed. And now you can see the colors of the ID map and when we drop it onto the blue part, the material is added only for these parts. Isn't that great? What is going on behind the scenes can be seen here in the layer stack. A mask for the material is added with a color selection for the ID map and the color is set to blue. And this is why the material is just assigned to the blue parts. Now we do the same for the inner part. Here I will use an aluminum material and I drag it onto the red part. Alright, and this is how you can create and use a color ID map with Blender and Substance Painter. I really hope you liked this short tip and it was useful for you. And if you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can support me by being my patron, this would really be awesome. Thanks for this, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.